Good morning. It is 5.30 a.m. and it's looking to be a beautiful day. The sun is just starting to come up. You can see the horizon lighting up. Already got up, got the engine warming up, got the mainsail up, and crew's still sleeping, but that's fine. I'm kind of used to taking off and doing things on the boat myself in the morning when needed. And I wanted to get an early start today, not just sit around and, and wait. <laughs> so, up at the crack of dawn, and it's a beauty. Look at that, that's beautiful. It's a little nice without this big city in the foreground, but hey, what can you do, right? That's Cozumel, but we're gonna head over to Isla Mujeres today, so looking forward to that. Isla Mujeres, the island of women. <laughs> we're gonna go find out why. Sounds like fun. All the ferries, all the morning ferries just leaving. Everybody getting the morning started, including us. But time to get the anchor up and get on the way. So I gotta go. Nine and a half, come on. <laughs> and there's our sun again. Now we're coming out through the other side. Like they say, it's just a little squall. What did they say? No. It's just a little squall. They come on you fast and they leave you fast. <laughs> Good old Captain Ron. Famous quotes. Apparently, sophisticated ladies in a hurry to get to the island of women. <laughs> it's only like nine o'clock and we're within about 10 miles of the outer markers already. This has been our fastest average trip so far. We're averaging over 10 knots the entire trip. It's been crazy. Nice to have a little bit of current under us, but we've had great wind also. I've been surprised because this area typically calls for very, very light winds, like 10 knots or less. But the current's helping boost our apparent wind. We're getting about 10 knots of apparent or if we're getting 10 knots of true wind but then our forward motion with the current is taking us up to 8, 9, 10 knots and that's bringing apparent wind up to 17, 18 knots so it's given us quite a boost actually and very noticeable increase in speed so it's been a very enjoyable ride so far and we're only about uh, yeah I say 10 miles out so we'll be arriving at Isla Mujeres probably in about an hour, hour and a half so approaching the outer markers at the southern tip of the island. But this is Cancun, you see off our port side there right now. And obviously one of the bigger cities, a major center of Mexico, one of the tourist destinations. So don't really have much interest in going there unless we take a day trip over just to do a little shopping, pick up a few boat parts, stuff like that, because I hear it might be good for that kind of thing, but we'll find out. Meantime, we're just gonna go and enjoy setting ourselves up at Isla Mujeres and see what it has to offer. So we're almost there. Another box checked off the list for sophisticated lady. 
Isla Mujeres, Island of Women, Mexico. Cool, we made it. Can you tell we're here? Look at that shit. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a color like that, that bright. That is really intense turquoise, man. It's my favorite color, I love it. But we are on approach. We are just coming down the coast of Isla Mujeres. And we made it in record time. And here it is. Man, look at that water again, beautiful. Now we're gonna go in and find out why it's called Island of Women. After we do immigration, of course. <laughs> yeah, as far as I know, everybody goes in there, so I guess that's what we're gonna check out. Yep. All right, soon we'll start bringing in the sails. They did good for us today. That was a fast trip. You'll notice I kind of just flew past Cancun. I don't really have any interest in concrete jungles. Millions of zombies running around all late for something. Not my thing. <laughs> so I've heard Isla Mujeres is supposed to be much more relaxed pace. Of course, still tourist, but a much nicer, quieter island. So that's why we're here. I am absolutely mesmerized with this water. <laughs> I have been all over the Caribbean, but this water is electric, like electric turquoise. I've never seen it so bright. It's unbelievable. Maybe I've just been away too long, but I don't remember anywhere in the Caribbean or even the Grenadines, anything looking this bright. It is absolutely spectacular. Like to see that water just going out our transom like that is unbelievable. It's absolutely beautiful. What else can you say, but it's absolutely beautiful. Fantastic. If it's like this everywhere on Isla de Zumaheras, I can see why we might want to stay. <laughs> My kind of water. Okay, good to go. Okay. to do on the anchor but not welcome to Isla Mujeres we made it <laughs> cool Tiki's already picked up on the, the horns of the boats in the area <laughs> who's on dinghy duty Aww. <laughs> oh, this is Maddie. Maddie. Hi. <laughs> New crew from Italy. <laughs> Even Maddie. Have you? Pull the dinghy out yeah. Of there, right? What? And then we can dive in. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're gonna take a dip. Okay. Oops. Yeah. All right. So we just jump that way. I'm jumping. Okay. okay. Change the angle of the camera because my bikini fly with me. <laughs> okay. so where should I go? Out in the water? <laughs> yeah, in the water. Yeah. Uh oh. She's gonna fall in. <laughs> yeah. She's 
so cute. Wonderful. Wonderful water. <laughs> oh my oh. goodness, this feels so good. Welcome ah. to Mexico. <laughs> Arriba, Mexico! Arriba, arriba! <laughs> oh, it's so nice! When we arrived here for the first time... We ran for the border and we made it. <laughs> Mexico. Got a week here. Got all squared in with customs finally. And now we are just going to get settled in. Have a little uh, adventure here and there for a few days. And we got a few things to do on the boat. Other than that, we're just going to get ready and then head for Cuba from the sounds of it because we've got uh, Madalena on board now and she's going to be helping with Spanish translating, so that'll be cool. We need somebody to help with that because I suck at Spanish, sorry, I've tried, I just, I can fix anything, I can do almost anything, but I'm just no good with Spanish or learning language, it's just a personal deficiency, I guess, what can I say, you can't be good at everything, right? But we had Aurora on helping with that for a while and she was awesome, thank you so much Aurora, we miss you. And we got Maddie on board now to help with that as well as we head from here, Mexico, over to Cuba and then back down to the Colombian Islands, San Andres and Providencia and then we'll be heading down to Panama again for the rest of the season getting the boat ready for hopefully the Panama Canal. So we are on track and ready to go. Just got to keep moving. So that's what we're doing. This. Cup holders. <laughs> At least our ride comes with cup holders. Oh, jeez, I thought you were already <laughs> in. No, I am. What are you doing? Uh, who's running? All right, you're not supposed to run over the new crew. You think we jumped like three feet straight up and like, what happened? Your, your agility is at an A. plus. All right, I'll give you that. What was that? I thought you were already on. I heard you I back there talking. Jared, just get it here. Amy's trying to kill him already. <laughs> Break his leg. I thought he was over there chatting. I thought he was already in. Oh, oh, I love this. Stop. Go. go. <laughs> it's a good thing they label those. We might not figure that out. Okay. Oh, shoot. I don't know. We have been set loose in Isla Mujeres on a high-speed golf cart. This is not good. With beers and drink holders. <laughs> In most places, this would be illegal, and here it's what we do. This is called being lost in East Limerick. <laughs> <laughs> it's called a tiny gecko. But and we've only been going for five minutes. <laughs> I think we go up this. I'm gonna go straight to the hotel. Okay, we're driving on the boardwalk now. It's probably not legal, but nobody's like stopping us yet. Stopping us yet, so we get to see what happens. They don't seem shocked. <laughs> no, they're they're just looking at us like a dumb tourist. Yeah, we found it! Yay, the tiny gecko! 
Uh oh. Fix it, Jared. Fix we, it. We killed a road sign. Oh no. Uh oh. Can we fix it? Is it broken? <laughs> oh my god. Fix it. Sorry. Oh my god. Oh, uh, now we have to go buy beers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Maybe we should turn around. It's getting no, tiny. Good, no, I think we should just keep going forward. <laughs> should we get a beer? Should we should get a beer. No, here. This is a great spot. It's time to get a beer. No siento means I'm sorry. Yeah, no siento. No we siento. need to get a beer here. No siento does not mean I'm not sorry. No, no, no. no siento means I'm sorry. <laughs> Just go say no siento. No. <laughs> Tell me everything I know and I don't know nothing. So. There you go. All right, time for a beer. So you picked the table with only two chairs. Well, I was gonna kind of like we can all sit together. Oh, yes. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> See, they already know to just, they know to just get out of your way. <laughs> Look, I can read the menu that you didn't run over. <laughs> you guys, you should try the beans for sure. They're really good. So, are we allowed to be down here in a golf cart? No, we're not here. We'll turn around. No se puede. It's her fault. They told me to do it. We see a They said okay. They said it was okay. They said just go down there to the boardwalk and turn left. You can do ten dollars. Shower at Isla Mujeres. <laughs> Golf cart stoppage everywhere. Pedal to the metal. <laughs> dinner with the full crew on board everybody Yay. we got maddie just got back we got jared's here now we got aurora and we got amy everybody's here we don't know if it's going to be aurora's last night yet because we might be leaving friday morning and she's going to stay in mexico so we're just waiting to see how that schedule works out but thanks to aurora for making this yummy fajita yeah. dinner mm. fajita fajita now come on, <laughs> the only word in the English language where we actually pronounce the J right, fajita, <laughs> and she comes on and says fajita. I was wondering what that was. Like, yeah, is it fajita or fajita? I'm pretty sure it's fajita, but we'll see. Depends which language you're from. Yeah, it looks delicious and we're about to eat, so gotta go.